Malcolm was someone out there. He was as bright as a hundred volts. A black Captain Cook would have got to a lot of people. I'm going to recreate this moment. It's going to be something that going on the front of Bowie's or something. <laughs> it's, it's going to be something special. My name's Robert Cole. And my twin brother is Malcolm Cole. What I'm actually doing is doing a reenactment of Malcolm when he did the float in 1988. When they decided to put in the float, it was the bicentenary, 200 years of the first fleet. The modern nation of Australia began here 200 years ago today. When you look back on the history of what Captain Cook did, it changed the whole outcome. We've all been pushed aside. I found this feather. The white man is and how we are. The top I want to find a black feather, just a black feather, and just talk about how we used to be and how it is now. And in 1988, they want to stand up and say, this is not right. So that's why he decided to get dressed up in Captain, Captain Cook. Malcolm was, you know, a dancer, a storyteller, teacher. He was all those things. He was full on, full on black gay man. He was there. He was like, hello. That's Malcolm there. That's him, you know, always the one. And this one is the posing one that he would always pose. It's all about me. And if your earrings didn't match your dress, he'd tell you. I'm from North Queensland. Way up on top there where they say sunny one day and apartheid the next. Nah, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I was born in here, 1949. My, my mum and my dad was very religious. We lived at church. We lived at church. Being Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, South Sea Islander, being gay was a no-no. That's why he went to Sydney. Yeah, just so he could be Malcolm. I was always a fatter one, though. He was always a slim one. I think Malcolm got in contact with HIV in 1988, the same time he did the float but he was only in early stages then. He wanted to die in his own home, you know. And we had a spare room, and he was happy to stay there. But when I was first HIV and, and I was in Redfern, all my friends who I used to drive around in the car with, uh, rejected me. And that's really sad, you know. People used to say to us, why don't you put him somewhere? Put him out in a home or something. Now, how hard are some of these people? Put somebody like that, your own twin brother, in a home or outside was just devastating. We loved him, hugged him, bathed him, washed him, did all those things. Malcolm died in 1995 in my house at Courage Old Council. We made a new Captain Cook costume. <laughs> well, we've got a big train at the back of the outfit. There's a mural that's being unveiled the same time as the Mardi Gras that Dylan Mooney's done. I like the hat. Yeah. 
My name is Dylan Mooney. I'm a UA man from Mackay. I'm also a Torres Strait and South Sea Islander. I've been commissioned by the Biennale of Sydney to create a piece. Meeting Robert and listening to his stories that he had to tell, I then began to get a picture of what Malcolm's life was like. I hope people will get a sense of our past, you know, how far we've come and, you know, just the, you know, the struggles and hardships we've had to endure. But also thinking about our future, you know, where do we see black queer folk? You know, what legacies can we leave behind for them? That is magnificent. <laughs> that is good. Very good. He's here. He's watching me and I think he's saying, go for it, brother. It's really overwhelming to be able to do this. But I do it for Malcolm, to remember him and what he done. But to people who are looking from the outside, look at that black man doing all those silly things, dressing up as Captain Cook and jumping off flight. But it's the story behind that is what we're trying to portray. The history is there. It's in black and white what happened to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander South Sea Island people. The history is there. We're dying faster than what the wider community is doing. Reconciliation will only happen if we uh, both learn about each other. Otherwise, we should not even think about it because it's just going to cause problems. His legacy will live on. His legacy will live on. I've done it for you, my brother. <laughs>